when we look at um, just just say we start with percentages because numbers are you know impartial it doesn't mean anything but when you see that you know one population might be 18 percent well that's a small minority in comparison to the big group and one might be 23 percent again that's a small so when you have a majority group who um, can choose not to pay attention to uh, a smaller percentage then something has to trigger their consciousness to say yeah but these are human beings they cannot be ignored and that has often seemed to be the challenge people are innocent in their ignorance um, they are not intending to come to work to make any child's life miserable but the very act of ignoring a child who wants attention because that is where they'll find their validation um, that can damage the child so we have the challenge to appeal to compassion and say yeah this does not look like your child or your neighbor's child but it is a human being it's a brilliant little person um, a word of encouragement uh, taking extra time to help them explore their own possibilities can make all the difference in the world to them you know so I think just that idea of appealing to the human compa compassion uh, is often the challenge. Mm -hmm. um, we get in settings where we've done some cultural work and you know kind of started uh, digging into deeper layers of individuals behaviors and you immediately get tears and then you get apologies and then you get anger and it's almost like um, there is no intent to attack anyone. Um, we're not blaming you for what anyone else did but what what the hope is, um, is that you will recognize the humanity in everyone and not just stop at what you see or don't see mm -hmm. um, in that person. For any of us to change our behavior, our way of thinking, it, there has to be continuous practice to form a new habit or to form a new mindset. And a one-time um, workshop on cultural diversity, and I felt bad, but now my eyes have been opened, and starting Monday, I think I'm gonna do better, but Monday comes and the body's following up, I fall back into my same habit, you know. So that's why I think we still have a lot of work to do, because it has to just become part of our practice. Mm -hmm. And every human being has to be accountable for practicing. And it's a very timely question question because just this weekend I finished retyping um, McKinley Burnett's uh, book. Mm -hmm. Now my mother, he was a friend of our family and my mother was like one of his daughters and so I recall her typing what I thought was his memoirs and Marcus had approached me not too long ago and said you know we want to publish dad's book can you do something with it and so you know I thought I was going to be retyping what my mother typed because it is it's the old yellowed old um, manual typewriter okay uh -huh. and um, but it isn't it's a historical um, reflection on Abraham Lincoln <laughs> and how he is not <laughs> a friend <laughs> of the black people yeah. he, he wasn't. isn't that something and I was telling my grandson I said I never knew half this stuff you know I, I just always it kind of flowed with you know the myth that he freed the slaves and a total totally different story so if it was that way you know back in the 1800s and here we are today um, with a with a national leader who I'm telling you they sound like they were birthed from the same mother at the same time oh, wow. it is amazing and um, I hope Marcus will um, publish it well you know we're going to get it in the format where it can be published. So, mm -hmm. But I hope it comes out soon because I think um, to, to compare that to where we are today, if we have moved an inch, um, that would be a compliment. Wow. Um, if you look at the, the national mindset and how people are so comfortable um, saying, mean, ugly, hurtful, nasty things mm -hmm. just on the basis of how someone looks or where they came from. Um, it, it, it's a sad commentary on uh, the mindset of many Americans who are, are willingly ignorant. And so um, 
when you're talking about, you know, what was my historical imagination, where where I'd hope we'd be today after the Brown situation, um, Mr. Burnett, he, his thoughts were the same, you know, until people educate themselves and become aware, learn how to vote, know who to vote for, <laughs> um, and take it upon themselves to be that person that'll stand up no matter what, and at least speak for yourself, and hopefully others will agree with you, then we're not gonna go anywhere because it's a system. Mm -hmm. It's not even, you know, individuals, uh, you know, a handful that are running things. It is a deeply rooted system that cannot budge as long as we're still operating within those same parameters of this party, that party.